Hey there, if you're new here, these are the free aim VR shoes, shoes that let you walk around in virtual reality with your actual legs. They're like little treadmills on your feet. We haven't made an update video in a while, so in this video we have lots of improvements to go over. I'll be going over hardware improvements to the shoes, hip-based movement, some progress on Quest standalone support, and some other things as well. So keep watching if you want to see all that, or you can use the chapters in the video description to skip to what you want to see. But before the updates, we have some announcements to make. Free Aim is fundraising, and if you're an investor who is looking for a great opportunity to change the VR landscape, then you can head on over to freeaim.com and fill out the investor form that I'm showing here, and we can get in contact with you. I'll be going over more details about this near the end of the video, so feel free to use the chapters in the video description to skip to that if you would like. Two other quick announcements before we get to the updates. First. We've received requests from several of you that you might want to test the VR shoes out. If you're located near Wisconsin in the United States or near London in the UK, then feel free to go to the video description and I'll have a link to a form that you can fill out if you would like to test the VR shoes out because we're always looking for more people to try out the VR shoes and give us feedback. So again, a link to a form is in the video description if you are near either of those locations. All right, and the last announcement is FreeAIM is going to be at AWE this year. That is in Long Beach, California, and that's in June. So if you wanna come and try out the VR shoes, we will be offering demos and we'll be in the playground area. So we hope to see a lot of you there. All right, and with that, let's get on to the updates. First, I'll go over hardware improvements to the VR shoes. You'll notice that these shoes that I'm showing here have different colors. These shoes are made out of stronger materials, and these materials just happen to have different colors. But yes, the shoes are stronger and more durable now. We've also worked on making the shoes more comfortable, so the straps that the shoes have now have extra padding on them to make that more comfortable, and we've made the foot binding uh, overall more comfortable as well by adding more padding inside of it. We've started using batteries that are the same size and weight as the previous batteries, but have more capacity, so the shoes will now last longer. We're working on making improvements to the electronics so that the electronics board and everything along those lines is just easier to assemble in the future and so that we can have additional sensors and more haptics in the shoes as well. We've also made several other hardware improvements to the VR shoes, but they're more technical in nature. Uh, just so you know, they work to make the shoes quieter and make them more efficient and among other things just to make the shoes better overall. All right, that's all I'll say about the hardware improvements. Next, I'll talk about hip-based movement. So as most of you probably know, when you push the joystick forward in VR, you either go in the direction that you are facing or you can go in the direction that one of your hands is pointing. So what can happen is if you're walking with the VR shoes and you look in a different direction that you're walking, you'll just start moving in that direction and that can be a bit immersion breaking. So what we've done is we've implemented hip-based movement. The VR shoes are used to track what direction your hips are moving in so that when you're walking, you will keep moving in the directions your hips are facing no matter where you are looking in the game. So I'll show an example here where I am walking and I'm walking forward, but I can turn my head and I can look at the airplane or look in the other direction, but I'm going to still keep moving in the same direction that my hips are going. and. Uh, this increases immersion and it just makes it more realistic and it can make the shoes just more usable as well too So now, you know, if you're playing a game and you're shooting at an enemy or something You can kind of, you know, circle around them and you can move in a direction But look in another and it makes it easier to play certain games like shooters Okay, next I'm going to talk about an improvement that we made to the way the VR shoes stop with the VR shoes and stopping in general, you may have noticed in previous videos and maybe in this one too, that when the user stops, and what I mean by that is when they you know, plant both feet on the ground, they go back a little bit. So the user slides back a little bit. And um, several people have commented and asked you know, why this is. And one of the reasons, one of the big reasons is this is just more comfortable, especially for beginners. The shoes are capable of stopping right away, you know, stopping on a dime. But as, again, especially for beginners, we found that that is more comfortable. When the user stop, uh, when the shoes stop right away like that, it can kind of jerk the user and throw them off a little bit. And it's just more comfortable if the if the shoes just stop a bit more gradually. So that's one of the main reasons why the shoes um, take a little bit to stop like that. So 
Now, with that being said, the improvement we've made is we've made it so that one of the shoes takes a little bit longer to stop than the other one. And what this does is it means the user will tend to stop where one foot is slightly ahead of the other. And I think you can see how this is a more stable position. So yeah, we have done that and we have found that it does make it easier, especially for beginners to stop with the VR shoes and to learn how to use the VR shoes. Okay, next I'll talk about position correction. So you can imagine as the user is using the VR shoes, they might drift away from the center. They might take a sidestep or there might just be little errors that accumulate over time and they drift away from the center of their play space. We have this feature that we call position correction where the shoes automatically compensate for this and gradually move the user back to the center and the shoes are constantly correcting for this. So we've had this feature in the shoes for a while now and we've made improvements to it. We've made this visualization tool that logs data while a user is using the VR shoes uh, that we can then play back and we can see where the user goes in their play space. And there's a bunch of data that we can see to figure out you know, how the shoes are trying to correct the user always back to the center. And using a tool like this, we've been able to make tweaks and make the position correction just that much better. So after making these improvements, we found that the user spends more of their time than they did previously near the center. There's less edge cases where the user can get further away from the center. And yeah, the position correction was already pretty good before, but now it's even better. And going forward, we'll just still continually try to improve that and make it as good as it can be. All right, next one quick feature I'll mention is notifications while in SteamVR. We can now send messages to the user while they are in SteamVR, even if they're playing a game. So for example, if the battery is getting low, we can send a message to the user notifying them of that. We could send messages to the users notifying them of the distance that they traveled if they're trying to track that for fitness or something like that. So we can send those now and we'll be utilizing that a lot in the future. Okay, next, um, some of you asked in the YouTube comments, can you crouch with the VR shoes? And I just wanted to show quickly here, yes, you can see that I'm crouching with the VR shoes under the airplane here. And I mean, you can crouch just the same way you could without the VR shoes, just with like regular room scale VR. So if that's not what some of you meant by asking if you can crouch with them, then let us know. Okay, the last couple updates are more uh, teasers, but I just wanted to mention them here. We're going to make separate videos for these next couple updates where we go into a lot more detail, but I will mention them here. So the first one is we are working on standalone quest support um, so that you can just use the VR shoes with a meta quest by itself. And we are able to, we have been able to get it to work in a few games where these games support gamepad input. So we send gamepad input to the game and we can move around in it. So. Like I said, there will be a video coming up where we will go into more detail about this, but just wanted to say we are working on that. Okay, and the other upcoming video that we have will be about support equipment. So safety, support equipment, and that sort of thing. We've been looking into that for a long time, uh, ever since we started making the VR shoes. And yeah, uh, we have support options that we've been looking into, and we're gonna make another video. We're gonna ask for your opinion and yeah, we want to know your opinion about that sort of thing. So keep watching, subscribe to this channel if you want to see that video. Okay, and again, free aim is fundraising. So I'll go into a bit more detail about that now. Free aim is in the middle of our pre-seed funding round and we have already raised almost half of what we are looking for for this funding round. So if you are an investor, we think this is obviously a great opportunity for you and we don't want you to miss out. So. If that is interesting to you, then you can go to freeaim.com slash investors and fill out the form there, and we will get in contact with you. We can share more details about the company and about the product with you, such as the uh, fantastic product roadmap we have and technical roadmap that we have, and we can work on getting a demo set up with you so that you can try the VR shoes out yourself. All right, and that is it for this video. Like I said, we have a couple other videos coming up. One where we go into more detail about MetaQuest standalone development and the progress we've made there. And the other where we talk about support frames and support equipment and that sort of thing. So subscribe if you want to see more of that. We will also 
uh, be uploading and publishing some other gameplay videos where we go and just use the VR shoes in some other games. So again, subscribe if you want to see all of that. And we will see you next time.